right with like all the with LA all the fires day. and yeah. everything has changed oh, God, a lot of stuff. Right. So, all right, guys. Hey, Bill, Bill on, on Devontae, I hope I can ask this more properly. So, the face of the program goes from being stone faced, Frank, to yeah. you know, jolly, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Devontae, how, how does that? I'm teasing, but I mean, how does that change the complexion of, of, of things? Does it? No, I don't think it does at all. I, I you know, when. Uh, I'm not, you know, Frank was uh, our best player last year and certainly got a lot of deserved credit, but I still think Do Devontae last year was the personality of our team. He and Josh probably more so than anybody. So, so you know, him being the face of the, of the team, I don't think is, is going to be a surprise or anything that anybody's going to have to make a conscious effort either, either to see it that way or for him to act differently. I, I, I think that's just who he is. And you've, you've talked to him some about sort of being more the guy now, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah. But what, what does, does anything really need to change in this game, but maybe a little more aggressive to the hoop? But. Yeah, I, th I, th I think the biggest thing is, is you know, he, he, he's, he's, been a, he's, been a, he's a point guard that's basically just been a combo guard since he's been there. So being the primary handler and, and, and the guy that has to initiate and still yet score and has to get other guys shot. And when offense breaks down, he's got to go be, get fouled. And, I mean, there's a lot of things he's going to have to do that, that Frank did very, very well for us last year that he's, he's had never had to do yet. You've talked about the, the experience of your team before, and, and you know, not a, you got a couple young guys, obviously, but by and large, pretty experienced team. I mean, yeah, well, we're, 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 we're experienced in, in uh, uh, you know, if you count Malik as an experienced guy because sure. he's played one year, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're experienced at, at four guard spots and then we're really inexperienced sure. at the other at the other four positions. Marcus Garrett has none, Mitch has relatively none, Udoka has very little and, and of course Billy has none. So I, I think we have a blend, hopefully it's a good blend of, of uh, young guys that are inexperienced and that are going to kind of have to uh, learn the ropes where, where we have some veterans that have, that have been through a lot of battles. What's the biggest advantage of that? I mean obviously those guys have been around you You've been around them, but but how about on the court? I mean, where does that experience advantage kick in? I, well, you know, l last year I thought we played like a veteran team because, you know, our season could have not been the season we had because we were involved in a lot of close games and, and, and we were able to win some some games and we also won some games we probably shouldn't have won where we, where we had big deficits. So I think experience played a role in that. So. I, you know, the, the biggest thing is, you know, you, you, you want to you want your guys to play old uh, and primarily because it puts them in a position where, where, where you, you win close games. I'd say that's the, big, that's the biggest thing. Does Devontae handle the spotlight and the attention of that as well as anybody? Yeah, I think so. You know, he likes it. You know, he, he, he's, you know, it was, uh, you know, who drew the shortest straw had to meet with the media last year, you know, with, with Frank, you know. <laughs> Hey, Frank, you had 30. Yeah, my God. Hey, you know, <laughs> you know, with Devontae, Devontae would have two. Oh, no, I'll go do a coach, you know. So so I'd say that's one of the bigger, biggest differences. You said earlier, too, that, that part of why he came back, he loves college. Yeah. yeah How do you see that? I mean, you know, because he, he's not a normal college student. He just, he just can't I think, be. I, you know, I think he's the most popular kid on campus. And, of course, I don't know that uh, uh, positively, but, but you guys are on campus, aren't you? Is there anybody? Is there anybody on campus more popular than Devonte, or more visible? So I mean, I mean, so so, I, I, I th you know, he, he he's different. Like he, he'll go. I mean, they tell me like if he didn't have anything to do, he may go sit in the union, just go talk to people, you know, just hang out. So so, you know, you don't see very many college athletes doing stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Bolsby said earlier uh, he hasn't sensed any momentum to make a permanent waiver for the exhibition chair. Do you think you're in on this probably a little bit more than him? Do you sense any momentum? To no, not not permanent. I don't. I, I, the, the, the way that, that, that it got through this year, because I was in on the call sure. being part of that oversight committee, was uh, we're going to do it because of the catastrophic things that occurred. It goes against their bylaws to, to just say, okay, go play another game. So there has to be a reason, and, 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 uh, and the reason was good. And they said we could have many things moving forward that would warrant you know, something like this too, but we're not just going to give it a blanket thing to say men's basketball can play a third exhibition game. We're, we're not going to do that. And if there is anything moving forward in that, it'll be done under the same – uh, 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 with the same reasons in mind that it took place this year. You've got a lot of sway in the sport, obviously. Uh, I mean, would you be in favor of 
make it in something like this, like every year, just to help, not necessarily like a catastrophic, yeah, yeah. like the hurricanes, but you absolutely. Know, like big brothers and sisters or whatever. Absolutely, a absolutely. Uh, uh, I think I think it's, it's I think there's a lot of things that, that that need to be thought through on it. Is is uh, like where the money would go in all these things, uh, uh, even though it seems simple, but could somebody use it for recruiting advantages and sure. things like that? So, so I, I think there's some things that have to be that have to be thought thought through. Uh, but yeah, I would I would be all for it doing something like like for us. We budget our two exhibition games. Yeah. So we're not going to be, I mean, our school can say, okay, here's a half a million dollars we're just going to give away. Uh, but, but they can if they, if they got that budget in and, and they're not counting on anything else. I, I can't see a reason why schools can't contribute to this particular game or the third game to a, to a very worthy cause. And that would be very positive for everybody. When you look at how Sunday was executed, uh, the pay-per-view sales, the texting, was it run about as perfect as you could have? dreamed of and if you could tweak anything about it what would oh it be? i wouldn't i wouldn't I, I wasn't in on the no enough to tweak it all i'd want to do is do it and then sean lester and our administration and missouri's administration took over after that so so uh and shane obviously but but uh, uh yeah I, I thought it was i thought it was cool uh because i i don't notice everything uh during timeouts and stuff but i, I thought having having uh, uh different student athletes be on the the the, the the big screen there talking about how how you know the storms have affected them and their families and stuff like that. I, I think those are all great stories and we, they need to be heard and, and, and certainly told a lot more. Almost two million raised. Are you at all surprised? I mean, I know you talked north of a million, but that's no. I thought one three. Okay. I thought one three because I figured we would get two hundred thousand from uh, from paper. I had no idea we'd get seven hundred twenty four thousand from paper, which is incredible. That 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 comes out to about. Uh, 18,000 people that ordered it. Of course, the way I figured it is it eight is it forty dollars a home or forty dollars a television? And if there's forty dollars a television, there's some bars that you know about ten or twelve of them. So 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 there's probably five thousand that would just spend bars uh, uh, in both states. Which you know if they're going to make money from beer sales, they should at least have to buy it. So, so uh, that was good. That was good. Have to ask that if you did it, you have to ask the question: Would, would you be open to play in Missouri in a charity game? If we if we did it again, uh, yeah. If, if there was something, if there, yeah. If there was something that that would uh, that would uh, uh, warrant doing something that was good for others, uh, uh, because the, what what people I think some people misinterpreted about this is if it would have been Creighton that could bring in the most money, we would have played Creighton. It would, if, we, if it would have been Washburn that could bring in the most money, we would have played Washburn. The reason we played Missouri is because it brought in the most money, and 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 which which was good for other people. But but that doesn't that obviously doesn't change our stance on on how we feel about playing on a regular basis. But 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 uh, uh, moving forward, if if, if there's some, if there's some cause out there that 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 uh, uh, would be similar to this year, then yeah, I would be wide open to it. Okay. So if, if there were a similar catastrophic event uh, and Missouri were unavailable would every team be a potential like would you consider which team state maybe God dang we're asking a lot of hypothetical <laughs> questions it's in bus for candy and nuts you know uh, 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 I, I don't know I, I, I don't know I don't know what what did you get out of the game? I mean, obviously that was part of it. Have you watched it much yet, or watched? I haven't. I, I actually uh, got home late, and I didn't feel like going and, and uh, watching it that night. And then I recruited all day yesterday and came straight here. So I actually have not seen the game except for uh, uh, just just short segments of it. So I'll watch it tonight. I actually thought we did some good things. I thought we did some things really. Poorly. Yeah, I was gonna ask just based off feel. If, what do you think? If if if, if, uh, if you told me going in that we would play 15 to 20 good minutes, I would say that would be a great start. And I, I think we probably played 15 good minutes. I actually do think we did some good things. You do, but we did some bad things too. Obviously, two thousand twenty-seven minutes for him. Did that that surprise you at all? Uh, no, not really, because I'm not sure the the officiating crew. Uh, uh, you know, in, in you know, talking to Conzo and myself, is we like we hadn't even talked about not fouling yet as much. I mean, we, we I mean, it's like you know, we want our guys to be physical. We want to post strong. There's so many things that we, we that we haven't emphasized to the point that we will. Uh, just trying to get them to play hard right now. That that 
I don't think the officials called it as close as what it would be in a regular game. So two fouls could easily be five in, in, in a real game. So, so uh, uh, but th yeah, that was encouraging. He didn't foul that much. Because with him, it's not just that, you know, that was a problem for him last year, but you guys really need him to stay out of foul trouble. Is that going to be a tough kind of tightrope to walk with him? To, to have him be aggressive but don't foul? Yeah. Well, I think it's I think that is for all guys. They can call foul on the post every possession for the most part if there's because there's going to be contact. But he's got to do a better job of, of picking the spots. You know, where, where big guys get in trouble, in my opinion, is they foul 94 feet from the basket or they foul hedging a ball screen at, at 37 feet. And, and a lot of that's done early in the season because coaches want them to get out there and do that kind of stuff. But with him, if he can just eliminate those type fouls, he's still going to foul. But 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 th those are the things that put people in, 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 in foul problems, especially bigs, is when they, they foul when it has nothing to do with the play. Is that intensified with a guy as big as he is? Is it more difficult, you think, for officials to oh, kind of regulate no that? I have no idea. I, I, the officials that we have are good officials, and so I don't think they take body type into account. Uh, uh, if he leans on somebody and you're and you're not real strong or frail, you're going to be displaced. So I guess that could be a negative for him. You've talked a lot about wanting to see him score with somebody between him and the basket. He he got that. Yeah, he did better. Sunday. Yeah, he did in the first half. He tried to shot fake everything. Yeah. It was slow, but you know second half he was much better. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that something that you envision will be a work in progress? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. He's not going to be a finished product this year. Right. Or next year, or whenever. Uh, 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 Probably, but but he is he, he does have you know even though sometimes it looks uh, uh, unorthodox he does have soft touch on the ball when it leaves his hand. Yeah. I know there's nothing you can do about it, but how, how much better would he be now if he played a full season if he didn't get hurt? Oh, I think he'd be a lot better. Yeah. Do you think he can catch up to what that hypothetical would be? Like sure, sure, him? sure. I, I, yeah, he'd catch up, but I don't know if he'll catch up. Hopefully, he'll catch up this year. But but I thought last year if he played the whole year, even if you know he was starting and Landon was coming off the bench, but even if Landon had replaced him as a starter, he's going to be a 15 to 20 minute a game guy and play in game with the pressure and things like that. And people trap him, so he's got to learn how to play through traps and stuff like that. So 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 you know he hasn't experienced any of that stuff yet. So he's going to take some time. He's going to have his good moments, but he'll have his bad moments too. Are you kind of vaguely planning on this being his last year? Uh, do you, do you dope. Uh, I hope it is his last year if he can go and, and be guaranteed to be a, a first round pick, which I think right now, if you look on the boards, he's not on the boards right now. Uh, so, so, but, but I do think that that if he could get to that point, then I think he should, I think he should consider going. But if he can't get to that point, I don't think there's any question he should he should be a return guy. But I think personally, he's good enough he can get to that point. How much did Billy? Uh, will Billy be able to capitalize having you Doka right next to him? Well, Billy's a, uh, a skilled foreman, so so you know the last thing he wants to do is to have to be the the, the, the physical presence, so to speak. You know, last year we we don't really have a physical presence like we had last year, as far as Landon was was obviously tough, but Josh gave us a, a presence that, that that we don't have right now, and and Billy's not going to be able to do that. Uh, uh, early in his career, but I, but I, I do think that I do think he'll benefit from having a big around him. But better question. than you thought Sunday, Billy. First game yeah, I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was. He was a little sick too. Yeah. Yeah. With him, how big is the condition? His nose was running. You're right. <laughs> yeah, so, so. <laughs> no, he was sick. He, I mean, but he wasn't sick. He was sick, but he. You know, with him, how big is just consistency? Just doing it all the time. Uh, well, yeah, he's got he got develop habits, and so his habits are 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 uh, are not the best right now. He he can do it, but you know if I've always told you know with Hansborough played, it wasn't that Hansborough played harder than everybody every possession. That was not what made him. What I think what made him is you put your best guy playing as hard as he can, and he takes two possessions off out of ten. Hansbrough wears him out those two possessions because he was 10 for 10 every every single time. So you got guys that play just as hard, but it's hard for guys to sustain playing hard like that. And that that was what made him, in my opinion, so great. And and, and Billy's, you know, it's maybe one out of three or one out of four right now. So, you know, if we can get it up to one out of two in the next couple of weeks and maybe two out of three and a couple of weeks after that, I, 
I think we would have made some improvement. Was, was it the magnitude of that game, you think, that, that inspired him no, no, to no. play better or, or no. be more consistent or whatever he did out there that worked? Well, you guys think he played better and was more consistent because he made shots. Sure. But, but I mean, he, you know, he, he's, uh, uh, I think he also got exposed some, too, that when you, when you don't, you know, hit somebody on a block out, a guy dunks it on top of your head, too, stuff like that. So, so, uh, uh, but I, I, I thought he did well. I thought he did well. I thought it was a good step, good first step, but it was a baby step. Yeah.